This is the show with the pro, with the president of BKFC, Mr. David Feldman in the flesh. We just finished the press conference for BKFC 56. How we doing? Uh, we're doing great, man. Great press conference. Definitely had some sparks fly. I think it's going to be an awesome event. King of Violence on the line, Eddie Alvarez, Mike Perry. What was going through your mind when you saw those two exchanging some body punches on stage during the face-off? I just didn't want them to go to the head, man. It was good, it was good promotion, but I was like, whoa, that's enough. And they, and um, I think Mike Perry's knuckles got bloody on Eddie Alvarez's uh, stomach, if you can imagine that. Signs to come. But talk to the schmo for a second. Eddie Alvarez, he's achieved everything in combat sports, but he wanted this fight. He called for Mike Perry. We saw what he did inside the squared circle against Chad Mendes. We see what Platinum Mike Perry's doing time in and time out when he competes inside the squared circle. When you heard Eddie Alvarez call for this fight, how excited were you? I mean, it was awesome. I was very excited, and, and, and he asked for the fight. And I think that some, certain fighters rise to the occasion. Like, they need an opponent that's going to get them up, get them motivated for that. And certainly Mike Perry's getting him motivated for that. So I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be a one-sided matchup. I think it's going to be a war. So the Schmo heard you say to Helen E. Sports over there during the press conference, this is a one-and-done situation. This belt won't be on the line for the victor. The buck stops right here with it. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the case. Why is Platinum Mike Perry not fighting for world titles and we're making titles for him in this promotion? You know, it's about money right now for Mike Perry, right? He wants to make as much money as possible. And our champion's name value just wasn't going to add value enough for him to make money. But now I think we can. So he comes off victory on this event. I think there's definitely a BKFC title shot for his next 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 fight. And speaking of title shots, Ben Rothwell on stage, he called for Todd Duffy. He's got Todd Duffy. He's 2-0, and oh and he's been vicious inside the squared circle. If he gets the finish, safe to say he gets the title shot next in the heavyweight division? Yeah, I think so, certainly. Uh, Ben's awesome to work with. He's exciting as hell every time he comes out. And I think that on December 2nd, you're going to see if, if, if he's the real deal or not. And if he is, then he deserves a title shot. And speaking of real deal, you just announced here today, Jeremy Stevens, Jimmy Rivera. Do we know how many rounds, what weight class these two gentlemen, legends of combat sports, will be competing in? That's going to be at 155. All our fights are five rounds. So it's five rounds, 155 pounds. I think it's going to be a banger. These are two guys who don't know how to back up. Whether it's a very technical fight or not, doesn't matter. It's going to be explosive. I'm happy we added that fight. How did this one come together? Uh, we were working on it for a while, but we were thinking about pulling it because we had some other things that we were adding on. And then they finally got together and we said, look, let's just do it. So we added it. We were going to save it for the first fight in 2024, but we said, let's just let's add to this stack card, make it the biggest card it can be. And that is BKFC December 2nd right here in this building. What about a Chad Mendez? Any interest from him to be fighting inside this organization again? Absolutely. It's funny. He called. I said, I thought you retired. He said that the UFC let me out for three fights. I said, all right, well, let's talk. So there's definitely going to be, you're probably almost definitely going to see Chad Mendez back in 2024. You're going to see a lot of other big signings from former UFC guys, from former boxing world champions in January and February, and it's going to be an epic year. Is Conor McGregor going to call out the PJ and B ringside for this event like he was for the last time Eddie Alvarez competed? I can only hope so. Fingers crossed, I can only hope so. He went inside the cage. He did a face-off with Mike Perry right there on the spot after he defeated Luke Rockhold. It doesn't get bigger than that. No, that was huge for us. Awesome moment for us. And not just that night, but he kept promoting. He kept talking about it. I know he's intrigued by this. I know he has his agreement. He's not fighting for us. But him talking about it, him getting involved with things like that, just blows up the organization. We're talking about nine different what, countries. We're talking about 60 events here in 2024. Is it safe to say one of those states... Here in the United States will be Las Vegas. It's not safe to say. I wish it could be safe to say. It might happen. We don't know. It's it's not a yes. It's not a no. There's a lot of these states that are right on, right on the border of going back and forth, and I think they're all going to lean towards our direction sooner or later, and hopefully sooner than later, and I think it's going to be early in 2024. Since you started this thing back in 2018, it's been getting bigger and better every single year. How does 2024 top 2023 in terms of just the fight qualities? Well, I mean, we have a lot of expectations for 2024, so I think that it's really a make it or break it year for us. We're either going to really explode or it's going to be a year where we knew bare knuckle just didn't work. But I think that's almost impossible for it not to happen because guess what? June 2nd, 2018, the first legally sanctioned bare knuckle event ever in the history of the world. 
Today, there's 65 promotions around the world that do bare knuckle fighting. So I don't think we're going away anytime soon. Jet setting, trend setting. Can we get a final message for all the David Feldman fans out there worldwide? Just tune in to December 2nd. And I don't want to say the most violent show, but the king of violence is on the line. December 2nd, Eddie Alvarez, Mike Perry, a fight you don't want to miss. Tune in, BKFC.com. One of four title fights on the line. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. The Maverick Center. Salt Lake City. We're out. <laughs>